Step with Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at Mineral Wells High School here at the head coach of Mineral Wells Rams, Coach Gerald Perry. Uh, before your scrimmage, thanks for taking a few minutes to chat with us. Thanks, glad you're here today. All right, Coach, obviously, uh, you know, the, the biggest hurdle in any offseason is getting food, uh, healthy, no, no major injuries. You guys uh, made the state 7-on-7 seven seven tournament for the first time in a long time this year. Uh, how would you classify the offseason and the successes? We had our best offseason we've ever had here. We're, we've got over 60 kids that are over 1,000 pounds in the weight room. We had nine when I got here. So a tremendous, tremendous offseason for our kids. These kids are hungry to win and uh, pay, pay, pay the price to get here tonight. And uh, uh, a lot of kids playing. We have 150 kids in football here now. And they work hard and uh, ready to play. All right. Now, obviously, last year you guys had a, one of the most successful seasons in school history with 10-3, and three, uh, close regional semifinal loss to Brownwood. It's generated a lot of buzz in town. You got, you got a lot of returning kids back as well. Just talk about the excitement around Mineral Wells behind Ram football. Most of the things we came in here we wanted to have is excitement with our football program. Our, our motto is to win, and our, our kids bought into that. Our town has bought into that. Uh, we had a great off season. We had a great season last year. Last year's over. Uh, the thing we learned in that Brownwood game with the sleet coming down is 28 degrees. We're going to have more power in our offense. We've had a lot of power sets, so we'll be a lot more balanced this year uh, and, and give you different looks. You'll see 20 to 30 different formations in the scrimmage tonight. All right, now, uh, so at the scrimmage, obviously the weather uh, turned out okay. It's, it's definitely not as hot as it could be as long as the, the lightning stays away. Uh, obviously, Midlothian Heritage, nobody knows a lot about them. They're, they're a brand new program. Uh, what are you looking to get out of tonight's scrimmage? Uh, position battles or any, anything in particular you and your coaching staff are really going to look at? Well, a couple things. First of all, we want to stay healthy when our scrimmage. Uh, we want to keep working our, our tempos. We've we changed some things this year, and, and we'll be a lot faster with our offense. Uh, defense, we've got we fly the ball. We want to make sure that that continues. We've got a lot of alignment. We've got, uh, I don't think we'll start a senior this year on the old line so that's one of the things we're worried about a little bit. I think there'll be a strength by the time we get to the end of the season, but right now that's that's a concern that we have going into the scrimmage tonight. Well, you guys have been going at it for a couple of weeks now. I mean, how excited are the kids just to, just to go against somebody in a different color jersey? That's got to be uh, pretty exciting just for the, them kind of chomping at the bit, aren't they? They're excited. These kids want to compete. Uh, they want to get after it. They're, they're ready for tonight. They're ready for the uh, first practice. Well, Coach, uh, real quick, uh, what's the format going to be? Can I tell us what, what your for overall format is going to be in the scrimmage today? We'll go 12 play series. Uh, we'll start with defense, then we'll go offense, just keep rotating through uh, through two series with the ones, two series with the twos, and then we'll go a live quarter, uh, and we'll punt, and we'll kick uh, during that live quarter. Coach, appreciate your time. Congrats on the success in 2015, and good luck in 2016. Thank you. Appreciate it.